Meghan and Harry pose in official new picture and it's adorable. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been pictured together for their first professional photo shoot. The stunning black and white shot, which can be seen here and was taken by photographer Matt Stiles, shows Meghan wearing one of her signature trouser suits, looking relaxed as she sits on a chair. The Duchess beams shyly, not looking directly at the camera, as she rests her arm on her husband Harry's leg. The Duke, also dressed in a casual suit, sits on the arm of the chair putting one arm around his wife as he smiles at the photographer. The image was taken for time to announce the couple's latest appearance with the magazine. On Tuesday the 20th of October, Harry and Meghan will host a specially curated edition of Time 100 Talks. Time's a series of virtual conversations that convenes extraordinary leaders from every field to spotlight solutions and encourage action. The episode will include a range of guests, including Reddit co-founder and founder of 776 Alexis Ahanian. Husband to Meghan's best friend and tennis star Serena William. Guests will also include the hosts of the Teenager Therapy podcast, whom Harry and Meghan joined for a special episode last week. Time says, the Duke and Duchess will make opening and closing remarks, lead conversations, and discuss creating safe, trustworthy and compassionate online communities with Time Editor-in-Chief and CEO Edward Felsenthal during the show. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex both Time 100 alumni, are among the most influential voices in the world, said Dan Maxey, Time Executive Editor and Editorial Director of the Time 100. We look forward to working with them to elevate essential voices and highlight real solutions to some of the most pressing issues of our time. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will host a special edition of Time 100 Talks on the state of our shared digital experience on Tuesday. Presented in partnership with PNG and themed around the topic of engineering a better world. The special episode is set to reflect Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Duchess focus on building online communities that are more compassionate, safe, and trustworthy. And the royal couple will also discuss what that means for supporting and accelerating progress on critical issues like gender equity, racial justice, and climate change. The episode will feature conversations with a range of guests including Reddit co-founder and founder of 776 Alexis Ahanian, and Rappler CEO and executive editor Muriel Racer. Amongst those featuring will also include Center for Humane Technology president and co-founder Tristan Harris, activist and founder of the Loveland Foundation Rachel Cargill, author, and core director of the UCLA Center for Critical Internet Inquiry Safi I.U. Noble, disinformation researcher and A.D. Rester, Somewhere good founder Naj Austin, and the hosts of Teenager Therapy will also make an appearance. In addition to developing the theme, guests, and topics, the Duke and Duchess will make opening and closing remarks and lead conversations. They will also discuss creating safe, trustworthy and compassionate online communities with Time Editor-in-Chief and CEO Edward Felsenthal during the show. Time Editor-in-Chief and CEO Edward Felsenthal commented, since launching in April, Time 100 Talks has focused on solutions and visions of a better future through conversations with extraordinary leaders from around the world. This special episode marks our first collaboration, and we are thrilled to partner with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to explore these urgent issues. Dan Maxey, Time Executive Editor and Editorial Director of the Time 100, added. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, both Time 100 alumni, are among the most influential voices in the world. We look forward to working with them to elevate essential voices and highlight real solutions to some of the most pressing issues of our time. Time 100 Talks has convened more than 100 notable guests, including UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, Advocate Reverend Bernis A. King, Immunologist Dr. Anthony Fossey, UNHCR Special Envoy Angelina Jolly, Musicians John Legend and Elton John, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and the Dalai Lama. It has generated more than 50 million video views across Time's platforms since launching in April. Meghan was praised for being part of Prince Harry's redemption despite the eventual tragedy with the royal family. Royal commentator Robert Lacey argued that in his youth, Prince Harry struggled to maintain a good reputation. While speaking on Sky News, Mr Lacey recounted the many ways Prince Harry regained good favour with the public as he matured. 
He insisted that meeting and marrying Meghan Markle was one the climax of his reputation comeback. However, he noted it was a great shame that Hugh and Duchess of Sussex were unable to happily maintain their place in the royal family. The Sky News host said, Prince Harry had turned things around though, in terms of his reputation. He was hugely well regarded for his military career, the work he had done for veterans. When he met and married Meghan Markle there was a real hope that this young couple could help the future of the monarchy. And modernizing and yet it all went wrong. Mr Lacey agreed that Meghan Markle initially was seen as a positive for the royal family and Prince Harry. He said, let us hope that it all hasn't gone wrong. Harry as the spare was actually able to go to war in Afghanistan in a way that Prince William couldn't. The British press kept a vow of secrecy and yes you are talking about years that were a comeback. In a way Meghan was the climax of the comeback, focusing Harry on all sorts of new directions. Mr Lacey also argued that the Duke and Duchess may have become too successful. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.